Hi Leo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 2021. Thank you to all of you for your support. I think of you every day. I send you my love and I appreciate you. We're connected now, so we'll keep going. And if you are new here, welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, just come back and um, watch a new reading. You could also look around on Mondays because the style of reading is different every week. So last week, I think it was, I posted a next four months predictive style reading. Now keep in mind that spirit does not use a human calendar like we do. Tarot is sacred divination. So we do our best to use the symbols in the cards to get an idea of time, but it's it's difficult to say that this particular reading will be encapsulated only in the month of September. Some of the readings have felt like they're extending well into next year. So I'll say that if it, if it seems appropriate. If you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Leo need to know? Okay. All right, so we'll begin here with the tarot, and then we'll have an angel answers oracle card reading as well. Current situation, you've got the Knight of Wands. The immediate influence is that Five of Wands. Your destiny is the Six of Pentacles. You've got the Six of Swords in the distant past. The world is in the more recent past. The Fool is the energy coming towards you. You're represented by the lovers. The person or situation that you're dealing with is the Five of Pentacles. You've got the Page of Cups. Interesting. You've got it's something to do with these two fives. We'll talk about this. Um, you got the the Five of Cups is in the outcome, but again, with you being the lovers and the fool as an immediate influence, I do feel like it has to do with, so there's some other meanings that we'll talk about here. So with the, uh, and with that Five of Pentacles. All right, so with the clarifiers on the bottom, you've got the King of um, Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Four of Swords. All right, some of this in terms of money and career, I do feel like you could be moving on or it's something like that where, or it's a relationship where, God, I hate to say this, where somebody's involved financially or something like that and they're the ones that are moving on. Um, but with this though, I do feel like in terms of making career decisions that Four of Swords is important because the Four of Swords gives you stability back. It gives you that um, alignment. It puts you right back to center so that you're making decisions from a soul level, from source energy, and not just from the ego. It quiets down the mind big time. And so the fours are all about order and, you know, accuracy. And so that, that allows you to make, like I said, prudent, good decisions. The three of pentacles is a very harmonious energy. So whatever you're headed towards, I do feel like it's a better fit for you. You may be leaving somebody behind here or a job behind. I do feel like that's part of the there's almost an internal conflict within you, but I feel like it's also related to external pressures, people who want you to do something that you may, it may not be for your best and highest good here, Leo. The King of Pentacles brings in great stability in all areas of your life. It's money, it's love, it's also connection to your community, so nice social aspects too. And it really is an energy of, you know, with this getting stable to receive, really clearing, cleansing energies. I, you have it a few different times here. You have three different fives. So there's definitely a change ahead. And you've got here, um, you've got Gemini, Gemini, fire, you've got all the elements. All right. But um, with this, you know, I feel like it represents you that, that Knight of Wands wanting to get out and go. Fire is all about, the wands are all about enterprise, growth, your inner power, directing your ideas, taking action. And so with this, I feel like nothing is going to stop you, even that Five of Wands around you. So we talked a little bit about the Fives, and it, it really is process, okay? And it's also mind over matter. So for some of you, it's about harnessing your thoughts, and in creating things around you. So if you're attracting some conflict, it may just be a matter of shoring some things up through that four of swords, getting things better aligned. 
but I do feel like you're moving ahead and there's somebody around you. I feel like it hurts them on some level or they don't want it to happen, okay? I, I just feel like it's not, it, they're scared, they've got fear and it's like it's it just not a compatible energy because when you're moving forward, you're an uplifter, you're in the fool energy and the lover's energy. You can't stay back with five of pentacles, wands, and cups. That is just not going to work. So if you're a cross watcher, I'd start raising your vibration because you're not going to be along for the ride if you don't. It's just not going to be compatible energy. So your destiny is represented by the six of pentacles. And for some of you, this moving forward may have been a result of feeling like you weren't of service. Maybe it was your own talents and gifts. Your skill set was not being utilized. And so it brings in this urgency almost with that Knight of Wands to move forward. You know, Knights are positive energies. They're often service oriented or societally oriented. So again, I keep feeling like there's some greater meaning in this in terms of moving you forward. But with the Six of Pentacles, it's also wanting balance and stability in your life. So wanting to have material success and stability because that makes us feel free. Um, but also, too, having good relationships around you. And I feel like you do have a nice energy in terms of that kind of give and take in relationships, having fun friends, having other friends where you really are compatible with ideas and work and things like that. Now, with the Six of Swords, Six of Swords brings in harmony between opposites, too. So in the distant past, again, you may be a mediator of sorts or you're harmonizing of things around you, especially if you're going to a new job. It's like the people around you feel like they can't imagine their environment without you. And I'm not trying to support your ego, but I've had a few Leos I've worked with. I have a trainer at a gym I go to and people would be devastated if he left. I mean, it's that energy, that life force that you bring in. And So I do feel like if you made a, de a decision to move on, you're doing it. Um, you do have cards of travel in here too. So if you've recently gone on a trip or you're planning one, you have nice aspects for that. But I still keep getting that somebody feels like you're leaving them behind. Um, and it's powerful. They really are serious about this, whoever it is. And so for some, it's just part of your growth and expansion. And that's just part of how, how life evolves here. I've heard our experience here on earth to be likened to a gym, like we're getting a workout, a spiritual workout here. So when we go into the afterlife, if you believe that we're energy and we don't just die, you know, there's like something more than just these physical bodies. That's how we raise our vibration. It's an interesting concept. I've heard some teachers say that you actually cannot raise your vibration. Spirits can't only through these physical experiences. Um, so that's kind of unique. But, you know, when we look at this, you've got a really powerful, potent energy here that, like we said, is just thrusting you forward. It's There's really no holding back here, and you're on this sort of juggernaut into nirvana. You can't be stopped with this kind of energy coming together. So the world is in the more recent past, and it gives you opportunities it opens doors that you didn't realize existed. Knock and the door will open. It's a card of victory, success, feeling like this is it. You know, I'm here. I'm, I'm on, you're on this trajectory that you can feel yourself rising and moving towards more. And so with the um, dancer of the tarot here, with the world, for some people, the number four is significant. It's also significant in the hanged man. It's not here, but I like to mention that. So it can be four weeks, four months, but feeling like this vibration lasts, it really is about being on top of the world, being free of any restrictions. There's a release here, release of anything that holds you back. And so it is an energy where you're going to attract a lot of new people. And for some of you, that may be the whole thing that the old friends or coworkers or whatever feel like they're being replaced. Um, you're just, you know, I guess you're not, you're not replaceable to them. So there's something about this, but for you, it is a feeling of wholeness. That's why we come here. The fool represents your soul in this earth school and on this journey, right? The fool begins with this fresh new enthusiasm, like when you go to a new place that you've never traveled to, you know that? 
the first morning that you wake up in that Airbnb or hotel and you can't wait to get out and see the area. It's that kind of energy. Like I said, you have traveled several times here. Um, but with, um, with this, the fool meets each one of the major arcana along his journey because it teaches him or gives you experiences that you need to become whole. So in a new job or a new relationship, if that's what it is, whatever you're leaving behind, you're going into something new. There's This is the beginner's mind. You're teachable. You're hungry for knowledge. You're on your grind here. But there's no resistance. There's absolutely no fear. And so you move forward in a place of enthusiasm. There's trust here. It's a new beginning, a jumping off place. And it brings you into this next part of the journey that's amazing. There's nothing negative about this. And with the fool, <clears throat> you've learned from your past experiences. So even though his mind is open and clear, he has experiences. He carries, carries them in that little bag over his magic wand. And the only thing about the fool is sometimes we don't always recognize our own personal power in this energy, right? He's got that wand so casually hung. But know that it's always available to you. You can have, do, or be anything, Leo. In this energy, nothing stands between you and what you desire. Plus, it's already been creative, whatever it is. It doesn't need to be made. It's just lining up with it. So with the lovers, whatever you're going towards is going to be a match for you. If it's a relationship, for some of you, there is love here. I get two storylines because there are there is quite a bit of earthy kind of energy here. And that certainly can be material things. But... Again, this can be representative of a really important relationship for you. So if it's them too, like I mentioned, first off, I got kind of this feeling of them leaving somebody that came in like they were leaving another relationship, but it is a soulmate connection. And it's also a connection between the conscious, the subconscious and the divine. So knowing that you're being divinely guided when you're in this in this energy. It's also a card though of kind of like the six of swords in some ways, inner and outer balance and harmony. So it's like your insides do match your outsides and that doesn't, you know, it's hard to stay in an energy that's opposing that for long when our insides don't match the outsides. When when we're in a bad place internally, we'll find the outside quickly follows suit and matches it, right? So um, with this, so you get what you expect, you attract what you are. It is the right relationship for you, whether it's work or a love relationship. It is the right thing. So the Five of Cups is, or excuse me, Five of Pentacles, pardon me. Five of Pentacles shows up in the situation that you're in or possibly the person you're attracting. Again, I feel like you're moving on and you've got your ride or die here with you. So you move on and it's not losing everything. It's going towards what you want. And there may have been parts of what you're leaving that felt good to you. Um, and then something changed, you know, alignment changed. And the next thing you know, you may have made a decision that seems rather abrupt to some people. It was like this, there's an urgency in this reading. And so with this, so we do say this is knocking the door will open. Okay, so they leave this bigger group. And again, for some of you, it definitely feels work related to me. Like you leave and move on to another job and people are going to miss you, but they can still visit. They could come in and work with you again if they wanted to. We all have uh, free will here. So with this too, like I said, it, it, for some of you, I do feel like you are attracting somebody who's leaving a relationship and maybe you haven't even met them yet. Um, and that's part of it is they need to disentangle themselves from another energy first. So sometimes if we if we go, you know, I get comments about this all the time. There's billions of people out there, right? We're all just energy. And so if, when we're down and out, we don't attract, uh, we're not going to attract our heart's desires. We're going to attract somebody who's also down and out. So we when we are in the waiting stage or in the waiting process, our job is just to invest in ourselves and really see yourself as a real gift, a gift to someone. And here is a gift. So the pages, of course, are not only that innocent, optimistic energy, kind of like the fool. It's like really feeling full of optimism and knowing that there's opportunities here for you. Um, it's also kind of, this is kind of a curious, enthusiastic energy. And so he has fun. You know, it's an energy of, in a relationship, having fun. Whatever you're going towards, you're having fun doing it, okay? 
This can be an ex coming back around. And if it is, I do feel like you'll have fun with this person, whoever it is. Um, but, you know, they may have been in something else, too. I still get that. But I feel like overall, with this Five of Cups being here, it's almost like there's a little bit of an emotional con conflict like we talked about. There's internalizing and externalizing factors here. So pressure from other people um, who, f who feel to some extent abandoned, but pressure from your own inner guidance in a way. Pressure is probably not the right word when we talk about source energy, but feeling this call. I, you are being called to something more. And so there's a change coming for sure. But I, I really don't feel like it ultimately brings you the disappointment because you're represented down here by the lovers and that's a very positive energy. It feels like there is disappointment around you though. So I do want to, hopefully that's clear. Because um, we can have a card like the Five of Cups and the outcome with the Fool and the energies coming towards you. And it doesn't mean that like something horrible is happening. It's more like a change and there's going to be some growing pains with it. Um, around you again, but you know, you do you, Leo, you got to move on and, and you're here to experience this life, raise your vibration. And that's all we're here for. So we don't have to people, please. They can find the same information that you do. They could be watching this channel or some other channel that helps. All right. You've got remain positive. So definitely you've got, I love the fool. It's such a fresh, clean outlook. No need to worry. For sure, I would agree. Big happy changes. I'm telling you, there's change coming within the next few weeks. Now, I said four months, but if four weeks to four months is possible, they give you a yes. So good things are on the way for you, Leo. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.